Hello and welcome to Tarot Insights for the week of January 1st, 2024. Um, today I'm going to do a little bit of an extended Tarot Insights, but we're just going to start with our usual what's ahead for the week and then we'll go into a little extended. So um, bear with me. Now I know I'm starting a minute or two late. It is New, or New, uh, New Year's Eve, though, so you can understand we're just running a little behind. Hey, Chris, glad you could join us. So let's get started for the week of January 1st. Let's see what the energy is for Monday. Well, here it shows us not being able to look at what's being offered. We're focused on what we have. We're not looking at new things. And I think sometimes that is the energy in the new year. You know, you think, oh, I should be looking at everything I have, you know, coming up. But meanwhile, we're looking at all the stuff we need to put away from the previous year. And so you may find on Monday, you're more focused on what do you have? What do you need to clean up before you're really focused on what's new and arriving? On Tuesday, we have the four of wands upside down and we're like, oh, no more partying, you know, no more celebration. Let's get back to work. Let's get back to to be more serious and, and looking forward for the future. And so on Tuesday, then we're more, mm, let's get down to business kind of say. Let's look at the energy on Wednesday. Hey, uh, uh, David, good to see you. On Wednesday, we're looking at, well, first of all, uh, you may find that some secrets come to light on Wednesday. And so if you've been keeping secrets or you are wondering what's really going on in that situation, Wednesday, you may get a better story or a bigger idea of what's going on. It's not going to be a time of secrets. But also, if you're looking for people to make commitments, they are not going to do it on Wednesday. And so if you need people to make commitments, Wednesday is not the time to have that meeting or to ask that for that favor. Let's look at Thursday. Thursday, we have the star upside down. Thursday, we may be feeling overwhelmed and we may have forgotten to do self-care. And so if you could write self-care on your schedule for Thursday, um, it, it's probably well placed. So Thursday, we're going to be... Uh, probably forgetting to take care of ourselves. Hey, Elisa, Elisa, good to see you. So, so far this week, we have not a time for, for making commitments, not a time uh, uh, for, for partying. It's a time of focus, but it is a time we may uh, forget about self-care. Let's look at Friday. Friday, we have uh, not moving forward. This is not an action week. And so, you know, I think that that's appropriate for the week coming up. I don't think this is a negative situation. I think sometimes the the week after uh, New Year's, we have to regroup and reorganize. And it's, it's more about redoing doing. Also, Mercury's retrograde is coming to an end shortly. So, so it's more about let's, let's clean up like tomorrow our, our we're going to be taking down our Christmas tree, you know, like, let's clean up, let's put away the old stuff before we start a lot new. And that seems to be the energy throughout the week. So then we have, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, now we're up to Saturday. Saturday, we are saying, look, it, I'm not going to fight with you. If you want to, if you want to do this, go knock yourself out. I'm not going to argue with you, but I'm also not going to put a lot of energy into your drama. I'm not going to put a lot of energy into your projects. Again, remember, this is not a week to ask people for commitments because you're not going to get them. And then on Sunday, Sunday, we are looking at kind of it's good enough, right? You know, sometimes we're like, oh, I want to do the best. And by Sunday, I think you're like, oh, it's good enough. So this seems to be just coming up in this week anyway, a week where we're not making commitments. We're not putting ourselves out there that much. We may also not be making commitments to ourselves and our own self-care. So we do have to be careful of that. Um, and so I would not plan a lot for this week coming up. I would not say go to be too gung-ho about your, your um, uh, what you want to get accomplished. Let's wait for the week after next. You, know, you just may find that this week is more about reevaluating, reorganizing, uh, uh, making lists, you know, things like that. It's not a big action week. So, 
now. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. Hey, Heidi. Glad you could check in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of look at a couple things very briefly about what's coming up for 2024. Now, first of all, 2024 is an eight year. That's a year in, in Chinese numerology of good luck. Hi, Catherine. Glad you could join us. So eight year 2024 is a year of good luck, but it also represents or and it also represents uh, the um, strength card which is all about balancing uh, physical needs and spiritual needs. It's also about recognizing what takes us into balance and what takes us out of balance. And you know, one of the things that I find with this, uh, when this card comes up, is that sometimes you're like, oh, that's going to take me out of balance to do. But in reality, it takes you into balance. What do I mean by that? Well, if you've ever said, oh, I don't have the time to teach someone how to do that. It'll take me too much time. Because And you're thinking that will take me out of balance. But in reality, if you would teach someone else how to do something you need to do, then after that, you don't have to keep doing it. So sometimes we have to, well, we don't have to do a darn thing. Sometimes we'll find, especially when the, the strength card is influence, influencing us, which it is the entire 2024, we are finding that we have to do things that may in the short term take us out of balance that in the long term will bring us into balance. But it's also a year of really looking at trying to balance our spiritual needs and our physical needs. And you're going to find some people are totally focused on their physical needs and some people totally focused on their spiritual needs. And both of those people, types of people are going to have a struggle this year. If you can say, I have to take care of my spiritual life and my physical life, you know, I have to pay the rent, but I also have to do my meditation, whatever that means for you, your spiritual and your physical life. Maybe it's, I got to take care of my body, but I can't be judging it all the time because spiritually that doesn't work well. It's a year of balancing those two. And the more that you balance your physical and your spiritual uh, life and needs, um, the better year you're going to have. So overall, 2024 in general is going to be calling us into balance, uh, calling us and testing us uh, and giving us the opportunity to choose balance over out of whack, right? So that's just kind of the general. When I look at, now this is general, this is not going to be for everyone, this is just kind of the general flow. When I look at finances in the first quarter of 2024, finances in the second quarter, finances in the third quarter, in the fourth quarter, finances in the, in the first quarter I think are going to be okay. I think they're going to be pretty smooth. I don't see it going crazy. Finances, you may find that the interest rates come down second quarter. Your money's not working as well for you, but I also don't see a lot of struggle and strife, so I don't see this up and down. Third quarter, there may be a real financial uh, little bit of a crisis going on, um, and that continues on into the fourth quarter. So investing wise, I never say listen to a psychic for your investments, uh, but I would say that I'd be very cautious about investing in risky things, especially in the second and third quarter. The first two quarters seem to be more, I want to say balanced more balanced. Um, but there definitely, I feel, is going to be a rate decrease in the second quarter. So financially, I mean, it's not showing doom and gloom, but I do feel that you're going to find that the markets or, or the financial world is going to take a tumble in the third quarter. It doesn't mean, you know, uh, 2008 all over again, although it could because of some astrological things going on that you could see that happening in the third quarter. But um, psychically, or using the cards anyway, it is showing a bit of a tumble. Now, when I look at um, as far as ecologically and in um, uh, like global warming and weather and, and all that kind of thing, when I look at first quarter ecologically and the second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter, 
Um, first quarter, uh, I feel that there's not going to be the money. There's going to be a situation where there's going to be an opportunity to fund some things for ecology or for global uh, warming, and it's not going to happen. But in the second quarter, it, there will be, uh, I would say, some substantial laws that go into effect that affect how we are affecting this world. And I think that's going to carry over into the third quarter. In the fourth quarter, though, you may find that either some of those laws get smashed you know it could be that they go to the courts or whatever some of those laws get smashed but um, I don't think all of them will be overridden when I look at world events like peace and war and things like that when I look at world events as far as um, those kind of struggles first quarter second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter I really feel like the first quarter is going to continue to be awful. And I don't mean to be negative, but it's just, it shows that nobody's watching out for anybody else. But there seems to be ceasefires in the second quarter of the year that, and justice being served or uh, what I want to say, um, laws being laid, uh, could be truces being signed in the third quarter. And by the fourth quarter, I don't think we're going to be dealing with both of these wars. Now, there could be one still going on, but there should be a resolution in at least one um, starting as early as the second quarter, but by the third and fourth quarter for sure. And so that looks really, really good. I'm glad to hear that because these wars are just killing me. Anyway, um, and when I look at so that's money, peace, ecology. Uh, when I, I'm not gonna do politics because it's just too divisive, uh, but when I'm gonna look at what do we need to know about our own well-being and our spiritual growth in 2024, uh, in the first quarter, in the second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, of course the cards kind of brighten up. They're like, oh, we're talking about spiritual things. The first quarter, one of the things is we're going to be claiming our power. We're not going to be afraid to say, hey, this is my belief. This is, this is how I see this. Um, this is my belief and this is who I am. There's just a real claiming of our spiritual powers and our, our spirituality, our very individuality. Um, it also, I feel, uh, we may find that some of the female, uh, leaders in the, in the world talk more about their spiritual beliefs and talk more about, uh, beliefs in general. Um, the second quarter is, is just, uh, I want to say we stop and smell the roses. We we um, there's a real uh, increase in interest in past lives, in in um, understanding that karma is not retributive. Karma is balancing. Um, there is almost like a real Aquarian feel to the second quarter. The third quarter, I think we're going to see some uh, traditions being called to task. And uh, I think in some ways there's going to be a, a come to Jesus kind of moment, you know, um, in the third quarter about spirituality. So in other words, not literally a come to Jesus moment, but um, it's where um, I feel that that some traditions are going to be, um, well, called on their stuff, right? And, and uh, that could be religious or spiritual. And so you may find religious leaders and spiritual leaders are either ascending or descending quite substantially in the third quarter. And then in the fourth quarter, it's like, you know what? I'm not going to push the boat. I'm not going to push myself. I'm not going to rush. I'm going to allow us to just go with the flow and see where it takes us. And so there's a real spiritually speaking, a, a real release from trying to control everything. So spiritually, things actually look really good in 2024. Now remember, the main thing about 2024 is going to be balance. And so you're going to be asked to choose, Does do I choose going towards balance or away from balance? And remember, sometimes things may get out of balance for a little bit in order for them to be in balance in the big picture. Um, and I would expect this is going to be another roller coaster year where, where things get have to come out of balance to come back in and so when you see things going out of balance don't fret uh, just send your light send your love do what we do in the spiritual realms but on the other hand 
realize that things are getting out of balance so they can get back in. All right, well listen, that's my little uh, 2024 in a glance. Um, I hope you have a wonderful new year and, and uh, sending good energy and good mojo to all of you watching. And thank you so much for watching me over these years. I've been doing this for a lot of years now and I, I'm not planning on stopping. So um, thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. See you in the new year.